What's going on guys, it is Coding Master here, and in today's video, we're going to be creating a game which looks like Invaders. So if you guys know like the Space Invaders game, so yeah. And also make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell for daily uploads. And make sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. So before you guys get bored, let's get into it. So first, it was a Scratch webpage. It's called Scratch dot mit dot edu since when you click enter you will come there so after you reach there you guys want to click on this button which says create and i recommend doing this on your account because if you don't do it on your account it won't in your account i mean you, you don't the project doesn't save so it's probably better to do it on your account so you and so it's just creating project. And now you guys see this cat, which says sprite one. Delete that out. But first, to start off, let's just choose a backdrop because we want it to be space. So if we click on choose a backdrop, I'll just go to space. I guess I will um just do stars, normal stars, and we can delete that out. Okay, so for this part, we're just going to be using the, like we're just going to be, I'm just going to be explaining you the simple player movement and then the clo and the cloning of the bullets. And yeah, so to start it, you guys want to click on paint, and you guys can create a sprite here. So you guys want to paint a quick cannon. You can do whatever you want. I just want to paint like a cannon. Make it red, I guess. Paint this, this thing. Make that twelve. You can just copy that. You can paste it, but we make that a bit smaller. Like that. We copy that and we paste that. We make that another a bit more smaller. Also, this one needs to be a bit smaller. Like that. And then if we. Sure, we can, you know what, we don't need that. We can go over here, paint A. You know what, delete that. And then you want to select the whole thing and try to shrink it a bit. No, 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 you know what. Try to stretch it out a bit. Like that. I'll make that like 50. Okay, so far that looks like an okay cannon. Okay. Oh, okay, guys, so now to start off, we're going to be naming this thing cannon. So to start off, you guys want to add a, when the green flag is clicked, add a forever loop, go to motion, grab a set. X2 block and change and change that to mouse X, which you can find the sensing. So what this block really does is that it's just the exposition of your mouse pointer. So if we add that, this is how our code is going to be looking like. Yes, it's going to be following your mouse like that. Okay, so now the uh, okay so now before we code the rest we need to make a another spread which is going to be the cannonball hold, hold shift and you can draw a perfect circle so i'll try to make that like 20. anyway that's kind of small I'll make that 50. okay 50 is okay and i guess i will fill it in a different color 
we can make that blue. Well, we can... You know what? Yellow and blue don't match. So we can... Yeah, that, that looks okay. Now, you guys want to go to Sprite 1, name it, name a missile. Like that. And if you come to Canyon, you can add a map. You can go to add an if then statement inside there. Go to sensing, grab a mouse down. I like it. And then we can just say create clone of the bullet. So you find this block there, but change that to missile. Create clone of missile. So here we add when I start as a clone. And when the green flag is clicked. So yeah, we made we make that height. We had a height there. We had a show here. So now for this thing, you want to add a. So um, yeah, you want to go to motion, grab a, go to block cannon. So as you guys can see. Is going towards the can, but let me show you a tip over here. It's like you can get the gun. It's like you can get the cannon's gun. It's like the missile will shoot out of the cannon gun. So you guys want to grab both of them and center the cannon ball, and you want to center the cannon gun. So I'm gonna put the cannon gun in the center. So now after that's done, you guys want to go back to control, add a repeat until root, underneath the if then statement, grab a touching edge. We're going to be adding more later, but this is the code for now. Add an edge, and you can grab a change y by block, because if we say move 10 steps, then it's going to move to the right and to the left. So, so you guys want to add a change y by block, not a change x by. Change X by 20, and after that's done, we can delete the clone. So, this code might work. Let's see. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, sorry. And now the code must come there. Because you can just delete that off. Sorry, guys, I did in the canon. So I just want to add the same code towards the missile. So I actually need it. So I want to add a go repeat until touching edge. So I'm also going to add a go to X block. So it stays there. So now, as you see, it's shooting perfectly. But this is just like cheating kind of to me. Because if you just hold the mouse down by, like, let's just do this. Like, one, if they press the mouse button once, then, so then only a, one bullet comes out. So you can add a knot. Go to here, sensing, grab a mouse down, go to control, grab a wait until. Add that right there. So now, if we see. So, yeah, it's going perfectly. So now that part is done. Okay, guys, so this is end of part one. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and goodbye.